So a few of you have been asking for a thumbnail tutorial, so today I'm going to be showing you how I make my Roblox Bed Wars thumbnails. Now before we start, I do make my thumbnails on PC, so I don't know if this is possible on mobile, but if you are on mobile, you can still try to follow along. So for the sake of the tutorial, I'm just going to make a simple barbarian thumbnail, you know, just a thumbnail of the barbarian kit. So first you just want to make a custom match, choose whatever map you want your thumbnail background to be. I'm just going to go with Pinefall here, click create match, then just type slash fly so you can fly. Now just go to wherever you want your thumbnail to be. I'm just going to do it directly in the middle of the map here then because it is a barbarian thumbnail i'm just gonna get a rage blade real quick so slash i rage blade and now you want to click f1 so it gets rid of the name tag and all the ui and then i normally go into free cam by pressing shift p i don't know how to do this on mobile but you don't have to do it you can still get the right camera angle without going in free cam i just normally go in free cam so i can move my camera without my actual character moving and then for the thumbnails i normally turn the graphics to max just so it looks good now i'm just gonna swing my sword for the thumbnail and take a screenshot that looks good i think so just screenshot that and then pretty much you don't need to be in bed wars anymore so you can just close out of bed wars and then you want to open photo p i'll have this linked in the description click new project youtube thumbnail and create then just go into your files and get the screenshot you just took and then you just want to grab these here and drag it out so you can resize it just like that if you don't see these things here click v or just click this on the side make sure transform controls has a check mark there i'm just gonna put it like that i think that's good you don't need the background so you can delete that i'm just gonna rename this to bg for background then click file export as and export as a png we are not done the thumbnail yet but then you want to go to this background remover tool and drag what you just exported into here as you can see it'll remove the background from the barbarian kit then click download standard resolution go back to photo p and just drag what you just exported from the background remover into photo p i'm just going to rename it to barbarian so i know which layers it is and make sure the barbarian without the background is on top of the background here because if it's below the background then when you add an outline it won't appear because it's below the background so then you want to right click on the barbarian without the background click blending options these are the settings i use you can customize them however you like but i normally go stroke and set it to six inner shadow make sure blend mode is on normal i normally set it to white angle 120 size zero spread zero and distance five and then drop shadow normal opacity 100 color black angle doesn't matter size 10 spread 50 and then distance zero that's just so it adds like a fader on the outline so it isn't as sharp as you can see when i add it and unadd it you can see it changes a bit then just click okay select your background go to filter camera raw and these are the settings i use 25 on saturation 25 on vibrance 20 on contrast and 0.3 on exposure as you can see it just makes the picture more saturated then go to the barbarian you just added an outline to same thing filter camera raw saturation 25 vibrance 25 contrast 20 okay, i put the saturation way too high there contrast 20 exposure 0.3 and then if you want to add text how i make my text is i go just like this let's just say you want the text to say op so i just type op there then you can scale it up and then photo p has a whole bunch of fonts here as you can see you can choose from any of these fonts now i use the plumful font which you can literally just google and it'll take you to a website where you can download it you won't be able to get this font in photo p it's not in photo p so i imported this font from my files but it's just called this so if you google that it should come up and then you want to right click on the text go to blending options and i normally add a stroke inner shadow and drop shadow and then you want to go to gradient overlay leave everything but the color you want to click on this here and i normally set this to a lighter gray and then you can google like an arrow i already have one saved in my files now you can just import an arrow from google if you just copy the image and import it into here but yeah then i then just resize this to however you want just like that i'm gonna move this text up here a bit i'm gonna have the arrow pointing to the rage blade like that right click on the arrow blending options stroke drop shadow you can add an inner shadow as well if you want i'm not gonna do that this time then go to gradient overlay again this time set a darker red here and just a normal red here so there's a little gradient on the arrow and that is pretty much your thumbnail except if you want to add a shadow under your avatar or kit or whatever you chose to make the thumbnail of now i have one pre-made that i use for all my thumbnails i'm gonna show you how to actually make one so just import a circle just like this hover over this press shift and then just drag it down like that and then you can resize it however you want fit it under your character like that then go to filter blur box blur you can set this to however you want i would normally do like 15 or 20 click ok then go to opacity and i would set this to around 60 so as you can see now you have a shadow under your character now to save it just go to file export as png rename it to wherever you want up here and then just click save but yeah that is pretty much how i make my roblox bedwars thumbnails 